Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have our new loading screen telling us that Community Team of the Season and EFL Team of the Season are going to be the two teams that should be released this coming Friday. So that was the new information from the loading screen. And I want to talk about this market again because it is on the rise. We are rebounding back up from the depths of the crazy sell-off and the crazy market crash that we had ending just yesterday and it was perfect timing because if you guys watch the video that we put out earlier yesterday the last video before this one we talked about buy times for some cards and i really think that we nailed it with the buy time being the late sunday in that sunday time frame uh and actually into yesterday with monday and now you're seeing prices rise up a decent amount because a lot of these cards are now pe people are seeing them as um these cards are just kind of too cheap, right? We, we didn't get a Moments SBC yesterday. I think a lot of people were, were waiting to see if we would get an Icon Moments SBC that would maybe push the market down a little bit more. That did not come. So, of course, a lot of people went out and spent their coins on some cards. So, we're seeing a really nice market rise. We're going to talk about that. And also, I want to talk about um, some link investments. Can we actually buy cards with speculative links to cards that could most likely be in the voting for the team of the season community votes. So I'm going to look up some of these TOTS votes and show you guys some of those popular players that are being included in these votes right now and just kind of show you guys why I think there's going to be some links that we're going to be able to like buy cards and link to because a lot of these votes are looking very, very similar. So I'm going to show you guys some of those and just talk through that. Of course, um, I was off of the game for a lot today. This is TFA's day off on Mondays. Uh, I did sell this De Bruyne that I got a 400,000 coins. I sold my two Verons. I got right around 400K. And I still have my icons listed up. I still have these got, uh, listed up, but they are on the rise. I got Zidane at 1.05. These, uh, his, The cheapest Zidane right now is like 1.15. So trying to stretch out a little bit of profit maybe into the next two days or so. Uh, I got a Goretzka today at 221. And this is kind of where I want to talk about some of those link investments as well because we have a Bayern player that could very easily and should very easily get in to this team of the season most consistent side and uh or sorry community voted side i keep mixing those two up it's just, just get over it i'm gonna keep mixing them up anyways uh i do think that is a card that might rise with some david alaba links so we'll talk about that uh as well as just what is happening with this game because there was some more panic selling uh yesterday on monday prices were pretty low again this george best was 1.28 Right now, he's sitting at 136. Uh, this is a Don was back down. You see this one on bid. Went for almost a million coins. He's back up to 115. Uh, Felix, he's probably like, what, 270? Wow, he's still 250. Interesting. This is a pretty rare card. What you saw yesterday was a lot of the rare cards rising up. So without further ado, let's just get into it and take a look at some of the stuff that went up yesterday. Even on the video yesterday, we talked about some of the foot birthdays. Atal is up 30,000 coins. Lucas is up like 30K. Awar is up 60K. This guy was 500K flat earlier in the daytime. Uh, your high tier cards have gone up as well. Ronaldo is 6.1 mil. That's crazy because that card was literally 5.4 million coins just two days ago. Tamori is up like 30K. This Adama is up almost 80,000 coins. He was 580 earlier yesterday on Monday. Mbappe is up like 200,000 coins. Kent is up like 40K as well. So you're really seeing a lot of the market rebound back. A lot of the mid-tier cards that were just panic sold off so much. A lot of people said, hey, this was too cheap. Kulusevsky went from like 190 to like 221. That's a perspective link to that Chiesa card that could be in community team this season. Uh, Rashford's actually looking kind of cheap right now. But I think there's still some panic on road to the finals. And that's one thing that I want to say is we're, we might talk about a couple road to the finals as a part of this video today. Um, of course, with all the European Super League stuff that is going on, we might have some information leading to these cards not getting upgraded anymore. If, of course, that competition is not going to continue and PSG are going to be, it's going to be voided. And if PSG are, con are considered the winners of the Champions League or, wh or whether it's considered void, whatever is going to happen, I think these cards are, you know, you better be careful with these. That's all that I'll say. But anyways... Talking about some of these specific links to cards that could be into community team this season, if you're looking to buy some things more of a, again, a speculative play is what this is. I think there's some cards out there that are almost shoe-ins to get into community team this season. I'm going to show you guys a couple votes. This one right here. I think this is a very popular vote that a lot of people on this game have. I think you've got your four. Actually, this one has 
six Premier League players in this vote, so I don't know if it technically counts, but I think a lot of the players in here are guys that could get in. And there's a, especially Valverde and Dombele and David Alaba, I think are like three locks for this community team of the season that are going to get in. And those are all cards that a lot of people are gonna wanna put in their teams. So you think about links to those cards, and that's kind of what we're talking about today. Now, some of the stuff is already up, right? We talked about Chiesa linking to, of course, the Kulusevsky card. Right wings in the Serie A. You've got Lozano. You have CR7, uh, SBC. That's not on the market. Uh, so you can't just go buy that card. Uh, and then you have Kulusevsky for that strong link to Chiesa. So I think that Kulusevsky card might be a decent buy. Then, of course, you've got Wan Basaka, who 100% has to get into this team. You Maybe you look at some English center backs. You look at like a Kyle Walker in form, potentially. You look at somebody like a Pogba, right, with those links. Maybe a Bruno Fernandez special card. Then you've got the French links in the Prem. Digne possibly getting in, and Dombele, I think, is a shoe-in. So then you have players like, you know, Laporte, Rule Breaker would be somebody who you could look to link a couple of those cards together. You know, you can do your research, right? There's a lot of cards out there that might link, but I feel like this squad right here is a very good representation of a lot of the players that could get into this team this season, uh, most consistent slash community, whatever they are going to brand it as. But Valverde, I think, is one that is super duper hyped. This Eden Hazard card has dropped down a lot. Now, again, he was 500k earlier today. It was like 500k flat, 494 around the content drop. I really think a lot of this card's fluctuation right now is based off of that panic with the European Super League, and supposedly these cards might be rendered useless and get no more upgrades if uh, the Champions League is going to be stopped. And that, of course, is a huge problem. These cards will no longer be live. Even if this Hazard card is not live, I feel like if there's some sort of decision made this week about what's going to happen with Champions League, you're going to see these cards drop off, but then they're 100% going to rebound because they're so low already. And this is basically a TOTS card. If you look at the stats, the stats of this guy are incredible, right? Same thing with this Alfonso Davies. I know he has the team of the year, but it's 900,000 coins. Not everybody can afford that. This, in my opinion, is still a top three left back card in the game. You've got um, Teo Hernandez headliner. You've got Alfonso Davies team of the year and this Alfonso Davies. And then you have the Furlan Mendy for birthday. I think this is still a top three left back in the game. And this guy's actually up. He was down at 330, 340, maybe not 330, but 340,000 coins. He's been rebounding back all day with those links to the potential David Alaba that we are, I think, is a shoe in into this team. So really watch out for your Bayern Munich links. That's why I bought that Goretzka as well, right? Because Goretzka would be another card that I would look to see the price on because these headliners are very rare cards. I got a Goretzka at 221. And I'm thumbing right now because this guy is up to 270. So again, this is just a story of the market in the past about 12 hours or so uh, is that it's just really rebounding up. Now, Goretzka was again down to 220. I picked up a Goretzka on a cheap snipe right around the content shop and he is up uh, 40K from that point. So that's a GG right there. And honestly, if you bought stuff yesterday, you are in the money because a lot of this stuff really, really went up. Laporte is another one, right? He's only up about 10,000 coins because he was down at 230. On Monday, on Sunday, he reached a low point of 221 on the X or on the PlayStation. About the same price between Xbox and PlayStation. So if you can get this guy in the 230s on either console, low 230s, that might be a great pickup. Of course, it all depends on what comes out. Now, of course, there is a Zuma card that is in the voting. Right, we've got a French center back in Kurt Zuma who could be a part of this team of the season squad. So if if he were to be a part of the squad, if he were to win the vote then you might not want to go out and buy Laporte. But a lot of this stuff that's going to link to these potential community cards that could get in with a lot of people seeing these votes, uh, I think, are going to rise into this week a little bit later on. Your Bayern Munich links, your French links from the Prem, uh, of course, maybe some of your PSG links that are on the market, potentially with that Moise Keane card, some of your English links as well, right, with Wambasaka potentially getting in. I think either Harvey Barnes or Mikel Antonio, one of those two gets in. And then, of course, I really do feel like Alaba, Valverde, and potentially Chiesa could get in as well because um, those are all from the big teams, right? The EA was very smart with this vote. There was only one Manchester United player, one Bayern player, one PSG player, and one Juventus player in this entire vote because they know that those are probably going to be some of the players that get voted in. So, as we continue to take a look, you know, so I didn't. There's a lot of cards that would link to potential cards that could get in to team of the season community. 
that I'm not mentioning in this video. Go out and do some research, right? Think about, hey, if Chiesa gets a card, who are people going to want to buy to link to that card? Now, of course, you want to look for the strong links, and you also want to make sure that that position is that card that you're going to be buying to link to that new team of the season card would be something that people would want to actually go and try out, not just buying like, you know, I don't think, I think Man of the Match or there's like a Man of the Match Bernard Dashi or something like that. I don't know if that would be a card that would really rise that much with a link to Chiesa. So you want to make sure if you're getting links that you're getting stuff that is, uh, you know, a very popular card in this game that people like to use, like this Goretzka card, 270,000 coins for this card, 260, 269 right there. This is a Club 80 Hullet Gang still a live item as well because of course he could get an inform and go to a 90 rated card easy um that has of course built in hype there too and just of course the german and the bayern munich links that this card does have so that's one thing that i'll be really really watching out for now of course you have to think of the other side of the coin too right let's say alaba gets a center back card what's going to happen to somebody like akanji or klosterman since they may not have an absolute uh link Two, how much is a, uh, a kanji? Because this guy was 180k earlier today, and he's back up to 220. So yes, a kanji's up a little bit right now. But if an Alaba comes out, these cards are going to be kind of cheap, man. These team of season cards are going to be kind of cheap. So especially for like a Reese James right back card, I would be a little bit skeptical right now because I think a card like that Reese James might be in jeopardy if a Wan Basaka comes out. And of course, if we if we were to get some other sort of uh, right back in the team like. A pacey right back that would win one of the votes as well that could be something that would be interesting for this market so i just wanted to come on this video and talk about some of the link investments that you could see now of course with the market rising up so much um could there be some sort of content later on this week that would make people sell i guess if we learned more information about team of the season itself if e8 kind of dropped a bomb on us if there was either a good information or bad information you might see a little bit of panic selling because of that uh, again, yesterday with no new Icon SBC, you actually saw fodder drop even lower. Look at 86s. They were at 320 points on the index, went all the way down under 300 points a couple hours after content drop. People started to buy the stuff back up again because stuff just got, it got really, really cheap, right? How much is Aguero's SBC to complete uh, right now? Where is that Aguero card? I might just have to find him over here in the SBC section because he is not on the popular page. But Aguero's SBC right now to complete will cost you 854,000 coins. This guy was over a mil, over a mil to complete Aguero just two or three days ago. So that's crazy how much the fodder has dropped off after you're seeing this index and seeing the drop off. I bet some of the rated fodder like you know 88s and 89s have dropped even more 89s are 49,000 coins that's crazy how much is kdb 74k 69k for o black wow wow so a lot of the high tier sbc fodder right now is really dropping off and that's just pure panic selling right nobody's really opening packs right now that is pure panic selling off of people that have invested and are selling those cards because there's no new sbcs that are coming out uh, which is a little uncharacteristic of EA. I'll say it. We had literally no content yesterday. I was a little surprised. I was a little surprised that we had zero content, nothing to kind of coin drain as we head into team of the season. Now there might be something today, but I don't, I'm not really expecting an icon SBC anymore, like a one-time moments pack or even a prime or moments SBC purely because I feel like that would have been something that would have been released yesterday or earlier in order to give us enough time to complete that by the time Friday comes around because sometimes, you know, people need a few days to complete an SBC like that if it's five, 600K. So I think that time period may have passed. We'll see what EA Sports do this week, but that was very interesting. They did not drop that. Now, I wanna talk about one other thing. I love this index icon because this is kind of like a barometer for the entire market as a whole because if icons are going up, the rest of the market's going up too, right? Icon index around the content drop yesterday was 36 points. We are all the way up almost to 38 points on the PS4 icon index. You have a lot of these cards that have gone up a decent amount. Zidane, as, as you can see, one of the cards that I have here, up 11% from his last recorded price. Maradona's middle card, 1.28. So especially on the lower tier, I use, I use this uh, way of searching for icons all the time. Going on this uh, FIFA 21 player page, going to icons, clicking on base, and then just sorting by price. 
And looking through here and really kind of memorizing some of the prices, it really is a big help. Ronaldo was like 1-3 mids yesterday. Um, of course, this Vieira card is 800K. That's still stupid cheap. Um, so some of these baby icons and middles maybe haven't rebounded up that much yet. Uh, Root Hull, it's still 460,000 coins. Roberto Carlos is up a little bit. Uh, but, you know, this is a great way to, to monitor the market and watch these fluctuations because this right here, these cards are very rare and they're still in demand a lot. Now, how much was Vieira middle? Sorry, Vieira baby. He was 730K yesterday and the guy is up to 800,000 coins. I honestly think if we get no more content, especially today on Tuesday or later on throughout the week, this is a lot more of a buyer's market and people are going to continue to buy some stuff back. I feel like you saw the majority of the buyback happen today. And what you see with that is when people start buying cards back, people start to see their prices rise up and they say, man, I don't want to miss out. So I'm going to go and buy these cards as well. I think what you saw today was a lot of a lot of FOMO, man. People did not want to miss out on this market rise. They saw the prices going up. So they said, yo, I'm just going to go pull the trigger and buy the cards that I want. Again, this Vieira, 800K after being 730K yesterday right we take a look at adama Traore, who we mentioned in the in yesterday's video a lot this guy was 590,000 coins and he is up to 670 which is crazy actually he's like 645 650 not 670 but still big time rise in such a short time period a lot of people went out and bought now of course if we get crazy content or crazy news about team of the season coming on later this week you're gonna see these prices come back down a little bit i think this is a short temporary rise Prices just got too low this weekend, and I was really trying to tell you guys that on Sunday and on Monday that for most cards and on the market, prices just got too low. And I, I think you guys are seeing now um, the, the reaction to that as people had nothing to do yesterday on FIFA, so they just said, you know what, you're right, these prices are pretty cheap. And they went out and they bought cards, and that's why you're seeing Ryan Kent go from 320,000 coins up to 370. Now, some cards maybe have not risen up that much yet. That could still be a potential where you, you know, you're over here on Flippin, you're looking through some of these team of the weeks, you're, the special teams, special cards, Tiago 289, that's up, right? But may, wow, Inaki Williams is up like 50K as well. Take a look around the market. Some cards that maybe haven't rebounded up yet that are still pretty popular, like this De Bruyne that I have, 432. This guy, I think, should be a little bit higher. This Jota really hasn't risen up too much either. Those are still meta cards that could rise up a little bit more as the market continues to pick up. So take a look around the market and maybe find some cards that maybe have, haven't risen up that much yet that are still pretty popular in meta cards. This Smalling is up a lot and Babu is up 20K. This Gomez is up like 40,000 coins as well. That's kind of where I'd be looking around right now on this game is some of that stuff, especially some of the icons that have not risen up yet, that um, that have dropped off a lot and haven't risen up too much yet, might be kind of uh, flying under the radar right now, as so, uh, so to speak, before we see prices continuing to rise later into this week and as we get towards Thursday. Now, again, today, if there is content, okay, we'll see what it is. Wait, Benzema 215. Hold up. This is this has to be something going on here. What what's up with this Benzema? Yesterday he was down at 207. He went to 220. He was 222 earlier today. If I saw a 210 on this, I would snatch that up because that's a really rare card. Anyways, depending on what the content is later this week, I really feel like EA is going to keep it quiet, just updating some loading screens, maybe dropping an SBC here or there. Um, and a lot of the hype on this game right now is really just around the the, uh, the European Super League and how that affects FIFA. We really don't know. Um, there's a lot of unknowns at this point, uh, but of course, with the road to the finals, be very careful with those. I think caution is going to be something you're going to want to have plenty of right now with those road to the finals, because yes, you know, you see Varane who is down a decent amount, uh, but until we actually get solid information, uh, it's going to be all uh, uh, based off of hearsay and all based off of hype with what these cards do on the market. This Varane is down to 1.33. I'm pretty sure it was like 129 earlier like we saw with the Eden Hazard who went down and then it kind of bounced back just be careful with these cards because they could easily drop back down again with more rumors coming out of Champions League being canceled and stuff like that and of course if it is actually canceled I think you will see a nice drop on these cards it's, it would kind of be like the equivalent of these cards losing a game and not being live items anymore you would see a sell-off but then 100% you would see a bounce back because a lot of these road to the finals are meta and they are popular cards that have really good stats like Varane, like Hazard, like Gabriel Jesus, you know, Alfonso Davies. 
Alibas um, rode to the final card. So that's one area of the market that I feel is the most rocky right now. But on the out-of-pack specials and even your your um, Mbappe and your Neymar, um, Mbappe last night again was 290,000 coins. I believe right now he is pushing 320k, which he very well is. I bought one at 290. I'm looking good at this this quick flip. This is probably going to be 330, 340 if we don't get any more content coming on this week. How much is Neymar? Is he like 250? Neymar Jr. is almost 250,000 coins. So this guy was 220. He is up almost uh, 25K. He's up 25K. Crazy, right? So you're seeing a really nice rise on this market. People just flipped the switch yesterday and they said, hey, I've got coins. These prices are too cheap. Uh, and hopefully you guys got in with cheap prices because a lot of this stuff is just going up. Um, which yes, does mean people have invested and people have bought cards, which could still mean they could panic sell them if something big comes out. Um, but at least until the weekend league sell off, I don't know if you're going to see prices get back down to where they were this weekend. If they do go that low again, we'll see what happens, of course, with this team of the season stuff coming up later on this week. Now, I don't know how EA is going to continue to uh, keep the loading screen interesting for the next couple of days. Maybe they're going to release today on Tuesday how they release the community and the EFL. They might release the groups of like the next two weeks or something like that. And maybe they'll release um, today on Tuesday a couple of the different combinations of leagues for like the top tier league and the lower tier league that will be released. And then maybe on Wednesday, they'll release the rest of them and have the total schedule up on there. And then I think on Thursday, we might see a little bit of a hint on, you know, stats or a nationality or maybe some of those clues you know in the corners of the loading screen i really feel like thursday could be our day for a hint on a legit hint or leak i guess you could say about who's going to get into the community tot so that's the video for today boys watch out for those link investments they're already starting to get bought up but i think there's some out there that you could still sink your coins into and see your rise as we get closer on to the actual team being in packs on Friday. And there's a lot still to talk about with saved up packs, a lot of stuff going on in this game. As we get closer to Friday, bunch to talk about with the market because these guys are going to be very interesting. The new community tots are going to be crazy to trade with first hour. I did it last year. I'm going to talk about it and show you how you can make coins doing that this year as well. But if you enjoyed the video today, hit a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.